So now I don't like this business. I mean, after all, I don't know why she puts her front of my face all the time. What are you beefing about now? Put in front of your face once in a while. What's wrong with you? You want all these kids to come in here to think I'm a dope? That's the way they're going out. <laughs> if you don't ask me any more of those stupid things you ask me, ask me a nice, easy one, something I can answer. You can't answer it. Ask me. Will you answer it? All right, say you're 40 years old. Who's 40? Just pretend you're 40 years old. I'm a boy. All right, yeah. Come along. Oh, say you're 40 years old and you're in love with a little girl, say, 10 years old. This one's going to be a pit. Now, well, wait till I finish it, will you please? You got a good idea where I'm going to wind up. Now, wait a minute. All right, all right, forget about that. You're 40, she's 10, you're four times as old as that little girl. You couldn't marry her, could you? Not unless I came from the mountains. Hey, well, will you keep quiet till I finish it? <laughs> now, you're 40, she's 10. You're four times as old as that girl. So you wait five years. Now the little girl is 15, you're 45. Now you're only three times as old as that little girl. So you wait 15 years more. Now the little girl is 30, you're 60. You're only twice as old as that little girl. Hey, she's catching up. Yeah. <laughs> How long do you have to wait before you and the little girl are the same age? Now that's simple enough. Tell the folks. Show them how smart you are. I, I think the whole thing is ridiculous. What's ridiculous about it? I mean, after all, if I keep waiting for her, she'll wind up older than me. What do you mean? I mean, she'll wind up older than me, and then she'll have to wait for me. Why should she wait for you? I was nice enough to wait for her. What are you talking about? to so marry me, she'll wait for me. Marry? Yes. Do you know this girl? No. Why should you marry a girl you don't even know? <laughs> what are you walking like that for? I was born on the side of a hill. Ooh, cross town. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. What kind of count is that? Five, ten. Can you count? If you should never get mad if you can't count to ten. But you never should have been like ten. Oh, wise guy, huh? All right. You can count, huh? Are you kidding? Let me hear you count. Two and two is four. Four, four is eight. Eight and eight is. Yeah, yeah, eight and eight is. Uh... Well, what do you think I am? My study? Whoa, come on. <laughs> You're the picture of health. Gee, but you're beautiful. Ah, you like beautiful girls, I gather. I like beautiful girls. Anybody gathers. <laughs> Bonjour to you, Monsieur Abbott. Bonjour to you, Miss Brooks. Ah, vous êtes très gentil, mon cher. Voulez-vous le dîner avec moi ce soir? No, I couldn't. Ah, vous pouvez le venir chez la maison et le dîner avec moi par la lumière des chandelles, je vous en prie. No, I'm ah. terribly sorry, I couldn't. I am it. What's she saying? Maybe I could. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame. Does this hurt very badly? Yeah, I got a toothache. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what you do. I work for the best dentist in town. Here's a card. You come up to the office and I'll see that the dentist takes good care of you. Well, let me ask you this, Hillary. If the dentist pulls my tooth, will it hurt? Oh, well, if it hurts after he pulls it out, you put it back in again. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Let me even. Come on, come on. Come 
Yeah, nurse, I just had to bring him in. Oh, I'm glad you took my advice. The doctor will see you in a few minutes. Lewis, your suffering will soon be over. You don't mind if there's a patient before you? I wouldn't mind if there was 340 patients before me. <laughs> you sit down. The doctor will be right with you. Thank you. Hey, Louis, you come with that much? You got a toothache, huh? Hello, Mr. Bachelor. I got a toothache, too. That's another thing for worry about. Strong, strong, a people. Hey, you're going to see the dentist this morning? Yeah. That's like a picnic in a war about nothing. It's strong. You think it's I a picnic? I want, uh, mine hurts, and I'm afraid of it to go to the dentist. This is not hurt. That's in your mind. Yeah, yeah my tooth is in my mouth, Mr. Bachiglou. Yeah, well, I, I take him out of myself, but he's got a license, you know. That's you, Mr. Bachiglou. <laughs> you ain't that, sir, huh? Yeah? No. <laughs> I come right back. Don't worry. <laughs> Did you hear that? Sit down. Mm -hmm. oh, you're ah! Don't you worry about a thing. It won't hurt a bit. Now, don't be afraid, Lewis. Oh, Hillary. Every time you're close to me like this, I always feel safe. You're so sweet. Oh, Hillary, when you hug me like this, I get a biting sensation in my heart. Do you think it's love? No. It's my pocket comb. It's over there. I'm ready, Miss Brooke. Ready for the next patient. That's you, Lewis. What happened to Mr. Bachigalou? Oh, he has went. He didn't went this way. No, he went out through the window. <laughs> but this is on the 13th floor. Well, everybody isn't superstitious, my boy. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> In the office. Come, 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 my boy. Get in the chair, my boy. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Ah, jetzt geht's los hier. Oh, oh, easy, easy. Easy. Ah, ah. Ah. Gut, gut. Easy, easy. Oh, that didn't hurt, did it? Good, good. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so. That didn't hurt either, huh? You haven't done anything yet. <laughs> they call me painless Prentice because I am painless. I am not. <laughs> the doctor's been quite a big game hunter this day. Oh, yes. There's an interesting story about every one of them. Now, see? Don't take off too much from the top. Good, good. <laughs> Open the mouth up. Open the mouth up, why? <laughs> You leave a stroke. Oh! Now take these antlers no, here. The... No, Miss Brooke, I got to have my emergency satchel. Oh, this is one of the most unusual cases I have ever seen. Quick. Emergency satchel. What is this? This must be serious. The Poor doctor hasn't used that satchel in years. Poor Lou, I. I we were talking about the yes. antlers. Nurse, have to have a hammer. Quick. A hammer? Hammer. Good hammer. Well, explain these antlers, uh... Well, uh... Right. A chisel. A chisel. Give me a chisel. A chisel. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What in the world is he doing? Uh, the antlers, we were talking about those. Yes, when... Oh, when... Oh, got to have a blowtorch. A, a blowtorch? Uh, wait, wait a minute, Doctor. Just a minute. A hammer, a chisel, a blowtorch? Well, what are you doing to Castello? Castello Bar. First, we have to open the satchel. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about the end. Satchel. Satchel. 
<laughs> good, good. So, now, uh, what are you doing with the blowtorch? Well, I must open up this action, my boy. Don't you want gas? No, sir. But you can check my oil. Oh, check my oil. My gracious sakes alive. Come, 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 come here. Now, now, so. <laughs> now, take it easy. Don't be excited, my boy. You are as safe as a little mother in a baby's arms. <laughs> I am over here. Oh, excuse me. Won't you sit down, my boy? Come, come. Let's be in there. <laughs> so, oh, oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm swine dry. Apple pie. So, huh? Now, we get it. May I see what you're doing? Oh, excuse me. What are you covering me up for? Sit down, sit down. Sit down, my boy. Pay attention to me. Don't get excited. Sit down. When I ask you to sit down, you will sit down. For trouble here. Get you sit. Will you take your hands off the shipping gears? Now, put it in neutral and keep it there. Sit down, please. Now, pay attention to what I do here. I am a very busy man. I don't got time to make troubles with you here. I got other patients here now. <laughs> Lean back, please. So, now open wide the mouth, please. Wider. I'm sorry, I was on the wrong side. Can you see what you're doing? <laughs> Don't get excited. Lean back the head, please. Now, now, let me see. Open the mouth. Open, open. My gracious, you have a protruding tonsil. Yes, I want to know what you have. I'm sorry. Now, oh, lean back. So, yes, yes, uh-uh. Is that what hurts? Is that the place? Is that the place? Maybe here, huh? Over there, huh? Maybe it's there. What are you trying to do? Knock that out? Sit down, please. Now, don't be excited. Now, open the mouth. Open the mouth, please. Spider. Stick in your tongue, please. Here. No. No. Now, help me, lean your head back, so. Now, put your hand on your mouth, help me, on your chin. Open the mouth, please. Push on the chin, so. Now, help me a little bit. Help me. Hold still now. Now, now. Ha-ha. Oh, no. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't. I was wondering why there was a nail in it. Well, don't worry, my boy. I fixed you up in one shape of a cow's foot. Come now, here, so. <laughs> now, here, lean back then. Now, one, two, three, four, Now, Now, this is the line of which I can a very rare specimen. And this one... Now, this hyena... Wait a minute, I've seen lions and tigers' heads before, but I've never seen anything like this. What in the world is that? It's me, you dope! <laughs> Dennis charged me five dollars, and you wouldn't let him pull your tooth. All we got left is 15 cents. What are we going to do? Hey, wait a minute, I've got an idea. 
And this is a system that always works. I used to use it when I was a kid. You go and get Mrs. Brown's cat and meet me in the backyard. Don't tell me the cat's going to pull a tooth. No, no, I'm going down and get Mrs. Burton's dog. The dog's going to pull a tooth? The dog's going to pull your tooth. A fucking dentist. What's the difference? You get the cat, I'll get the dog, and meet me in the backyard. But be very careful. Our landlord here, you know, has a peculiar feeling we should pay our back rent. Oh. So don't make no noise when you go inside. Don't forget that now. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. That's better. Well, you gotta be one or the other. I can't. Go on. Go ahead. I always fall into my room this way. Now, why don't you admit it, that you're just too lazy to get a job and pay your back room rent? Don't you know that laziness is the father of all evil? That's an old adage. Or don't you believe in old adages? Oh, sure I do. I believe in old adages. You don't even know what an adage is. Oh, I do, too. <laughs> Mr. Fields. If I prove an old adage to you, would you let me go to my room? Or what? For instance, if I prove to you that a loaf of bread is the mother to the airplane, would you let me go to my room? Oh, that's ridiculous. You want me to prove it? You can prove that a loaf of bread is the mother of an airplane? I uh, sure. Go ahead, it's a deal. Indubitably. Shoot. Now, a loaf of bread is a necessity. And an airplane is an invention. So? So therefore, a loaf of bread or necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. That's right. Isn't it? <laughs> now we're all set. Cat's in the trap. Got this one end tight to the little dog's collar. The other end tied tight to your tooth. I'll tell you what we'll do. We play. You like to play uh, airplanes, don't you? Well, we'll play airplanes. Now, uh, when you holler Roger, I'll pull this cord, open the trap, the cat will go out, the dog will go after the cat, your tooth will go after the dog. And where I go? Oh, you're, you'll be around here someplace, less than two. Now, wait a minute now, hold it now. Are you ready? Go ahead, say it. <laughs> Henry, not Henry, you gotta say Roger. I'm afraid to say Roger. That's it. <laughs> Ain't no dentist. How's it feel? It hurts again. Hurts again. Oh, it's murderous, Toot. Oh, I wish my cousin was here. Your cousin? Yeah, he was a good dentist. A DD? Oh, he was a DD. A good one, too. Oh, the sorry. only thing is he had to quit the whole... He had to hold, quit the whole business. He had to quit it? Yeah, his name looked so silly on the door. What was his name? Tweedle. DD. Tweedle. <laughs> Come on. I'll get some toothache drops. Toothache drops? Oh, yes. Oh, no. They're below. I used to work here. Oh, yes, here you are. How much are you? Fifteen cents. Yes, ma'am. Fifteen cents? Yes. Oh, excuse me. I forgot. I thought I was behind the counter. 
Mr. Abbott, I don't understand how you can run around with a nincompoop like Lou Costello. I wouldn't dream of inflicting him on anybody else. I ought... Oh, God, here he comes. Well, my boy, did you get the toothache drops like I told you to? Uh -huh. Good. Now take a few drops, put it on your finger, stick your finger in your mouth, and rub it on the bad tooth. I can't do that. Why not? I drank it. Yeah. Another 15 cent shot. You're gonna make a nervous wreck out of me. That was good. All you do is cause me trouble, 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 trouble. Just a minute, Mr. Rabbit. It's very possible that you're a bad influence on this boy. Now, this happens to be no business of yours. Oh, you may not know this, Mr. Rabbit, but a lot of people in this neighborhood resent your derogatory and insulting treatment of this boy here. See, Rabbit, I got friends. I should say you have. Just because Lou Costello happens to be a poor, unsophisticated, illiterate bore with the intelligence quotient of a delinquent midget, Mr. Rabbit. That's tell him, Mr. Fields. <laughs> and furthermore, Mr. Rabbit, is it compensatory for you to abuse this poor, unsophisticated, incompetent mental moron just because he hasn't got the common sense of a half-baked imbecile? Look. Here. Now, just a minute, Abbott. Now, you had this coming to you for a long time. <laughs> yes, sir. And another thing, Mr. Rabbit, I want you to notice this boy. Notice his blank, expressionless countenance, the receding forehead, the peculiar angle at which the ears leave the face, the thickness of his skull, the antediluvian physiognomy of this boy, the close resemblance to the early form of gargantuan ape. <laughs> Can you possibly blame this boy for being a slovenly, unkempt, grubby-looking crumb? How do you like those potatoes? Try <laughs> and get out of that one. Huh. Now, Mr. Rabbit, I know what you're thinking. Don't quibble. You must admit that you've seen you've seen much more intelligent looking specimens than Lou Costello in cages. I can't say that. Oh, you can say it if you wanna. You just don't wanna remember it. That's the boy. Of course. That's how everybody in the neighborhood feels about Lou Costello. Uh, come on. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fields, do you do me a favor? Of course. What is it? The next time that you say a lot of nice things about me and you build me up, will you throw in a couple of knocks? I don't want everybody to think I'm too perfect. <laughs> I'll be glad to. Well, my boy, uh, is your toothache better? Yeah, I didn't even give it a thought. <laughs> well... <laughs> Hello. Hi, bud. What's the matter with you? I don't know. I'm even patching you up. This tooth is killing me. Oh, is that acting up again? Yeah. I've got an idea. Oh, no. The last idea you had, I went to jail. That's just it. Going to jail? Certainly. Hey, they won't take me in jail. I'm just a scoop. Wait a minute. If you go to jail, they feed you for free, they clothe you for free, and they pull that tooth for free. They got a dentist in the jail? Certainly. All jails have dentists. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. We've got to get you in jail. How are you going to do that? Now, that's simple. That's easy enough. We can get... Hey, there it is. You see that kid down there with the balloon? Have you got a pin? Go break that kid's balloon. Jail? Here I come. Go ahead. <laughs> Size. He 
I'll get you a new bloom, kid. Don't, Don't worry you. about money. He'll buy you a new bloom. Certainly. Got any change? He's going to buy you a new bloom. He's got any change. That dog that always puts his hand in the pocket and comes out with nothing. Uh, there you are, kid. I'm supposed to go to jail, huh? Oh. Oh. This, is no, this is no time to dance. We've got to get you to jail. Oh. Wait a minute. Hey. You see that guy coming out of the restaurant with the overcoat? Go down and steal that overcoat. How much is this going to cost me? Go steal that overcoat. That'll put you in jail. <laughs> Give me that coat. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I didn't know it was your coat. I saw it in the restaurant today and I saw I took it. I leave the level. Please don't tell me. Don't call the cops. Are you going to call the cops, huh? You snitch. <laughs> Out. Wait a minute. Wait, don't get discouraged, kid. I've got a, I've got a great idea this time. The first good-looking girl that comes along in shelter, you're bound to go to jail. Yeah. Look out, here comes one now. Hiya, Tuss. You told me open square. What's the idea of shouting my name out on a public street? Suppose some copper would have heard you. I'm on a lamb. I'm hot. Do you understand? Get wise to yourself, chum. You never seen me. You never set eyes on me. And if I ever hear of you squealing, the mob will know what to do with you. <laughs> Poor little habit. Wait a minute. I'm getting my brains knocked out. Turn it in jail. Don't get excited. I'm not getting excited. There's the best one of them all. You see that fire alarm box over there? Go over and send a false alarm in. At least the fire box. That, that, that can't hit me back. Then you're bound to go to jail. Now go ahead over and bring it in. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. Can you make it? Pull it again. possibly do for you? Yeah. Will you please take me to jail? Oh, what a <laughs> sense of humor. <laughs> I uh, did forget my cousin in Australia. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. in your mouth, around the tooth, the one that hurts you now. Tie it tight. 
I will put the other end here on the on the rear of the car, and when it starts out, there goes the two. Come on. Come on. citizens of this town, I want to thank you. Thanks, God. <laughs> I want to thank you, too. Thank you. <laughs> $5,000 reward. Congratulations. Don't forget I'm your partner. 50-50. I'm going to do better than that. But I'm going to give you a couple of dollars in cash. Yeah, never mind that. And another thing. What? You know why I'm happy? Why? Look, my tooth is out. But that wasn't the tooth of AQ. It was on this side. What's the matter with you? 